Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to create a short movie using the ultimate text-to-video prompt generator. You'll click Create a Film and select Short Film. You have other options, but it'll choose Short Film. It will ask for the genre of your film, so it'll select Romance and Adventure. Then it will give me 10 different title options, and it'll choose the last one, Love in the Wild. It will create a script and then generate character details. You'll click yes, and it will create all 10 scene titles. Then it will ask me to start writing the script of the story. It will break the script into prompts, which we can use to generate images, videos, or text to video content. For now, it'll just show you how to generate images inside ChatGPT. We can generate images or videos based on these prompts. For example, it'll ask it to create an image for the first shot. It will start generating the image, and it'll say next to move on to the second shot. As you can see, the character details are very consistent and it'll say next to move on to the next shot. Remember that the first scene has six shots and each shot is separate. It'll say next to move on to the next scene and it will start generating the prompts for the next scene. As you can see, the prompts are very complex, but ChatGPT gives us a unique opportunity to generate all the screenshots of our movie. Once we copy these prompts into Kling or Flux, we can generate images and videos that are very consistent and professional looking. We can also ask for more shots or scenes if needed. For example, it'll ask it to generate more shots based on this script scene. As you can see, this is the last scene and it has 10 images. We can use these prompts to generate more scenes and get around 100 images or prompts for our movie. The good thing about this is that all these prompts are consistent. So if I copy them and put them inside another editor, it will generate similar images. Now, it'll go to the studio website, which is an AI video generator using Luma and Runway Generator. It'll copy my prompts here and see what it comes out. It'll be back once it's finished. Okay, here we have the video and Luma did a great job. However, she is very static here, probably because there isn't much action in the prompt. I can show you what I did before on Kling, which is, in my opinion, the best for today. I can even do lip sync using the custom chat GPT that generates the prompts. Okay, so here's another one. These are generated all the time, but this one is a bit of a mixed bag. The details are very impressive, as you can see. It's a little different from the others, so I tried to create a retro movie scene. If you look closely, you'll see that they're just watching something. This one was generated from an image because in Kling, we have an image to video feature. We can generate images and then generate videos from them. You can also see some transformations in this video, which is also possible in Kling. Let's go to our editor and take a look. Yes, Luma AI is good, but my prompts might not be suitable for Luma. Our actors don't do much in the screen. It's just taking the image prompt and generating some camera movements. It's fine, but I don't think this is the one we'd like to use. Minimax might be a better option. I won't generate any more videos here because if I go to Runway, it asks me to upload an image, which I don't have. Let's see if Kling has finished generating the results. We have four more minutes to wait and let's see what Minimax can do. Log in to focalmla.com which you already know about. You'll just copy the prompt and click Create New Scene. Remember that on focalmla.com, you can change the model. In this case, it was Kling AI, but I want to use Minimax. Minimax doesn't require an image to be attached, so we'll come here and say, okay, we have a problem. On Focal, you can't do more than usual because it's asking me for 1,000 characters. Let me check on Minimax if this is the case. Ah, no, Minimax is fine, but, I don't have credits here, so we'll have to wait for the video. In image to video, you can see that I generated a lot of videos. In text to video, I can show you what I did before. The quality is very good on Minimax. Larger prompts give better results, and you can only generate these kinds of prompts inside the chat GTP. Using my custom chat GTP, you can easily generate shots like this. You'll see that it's keeping the same aesthetics. To create your next movie or short movie, it's very important to use these kinds of tools and easily manage the generation. Here I can show you generated images before in ChatGTP, which generate inside Minimax from image to video. As you can see, it's quite good. It's not so realistic because of the image generator, but it's close. If you use the same one but use text to video, Minimax generates very realistic videos, which is good.
you can see that it's even doing gunshots very well. Usually, most AI generators can't generate a real gunshot, so they do funny shots, which is not good. Ah, yes, Kling is finished. As I said, Kling is the best AI, and you'll see the same prompt that we generated on Luma AI. On Kling, we have more action for the character, but maybe the face is a little bit too detailed. If I make it shorter, it might work. But this is too expensive. It's 70 credits per generator. If you have an account with unlimited or a lot of credits, you can easily generate this and finish. This is the part of our video generator. You've seen different AIs where you can generate a video, but the main powerful tool is our chat GTP, where you can generate all your story and generate all the images and then animate all the images. That will be the most easy and consistent way to create a movie. Remember that you can also upload your own stories or just write your story somewhere and import it or get a real story, a book, and make a movie using my custom chat GTP text to video generator. Don't forget that we have a YouTube channel where we upload tutorial videos. You can easily subscribe and learn more by visiting our channel. Additionally, I'm uploading content on Patreon, including free downloads such as styles for your creations. As a free member, you can access all this content. This is a bonus tip from me. It'll show you how to change the style of these images. Many people ask me how to achieve a comic style, so it'll demonstrate how to do it easily. Once you generate your first image, you can change its style by going to my Patreon website, copying some prompts, and adding a specific phrase to the prompt when generating the image. Let's see what happens when I ask ChatGPT to change the style of these images. As you can see, the results are amazing. The same image, but now with a comic style. Now that ChatGPT knows I want a comic style, I can keep updating the style by simply changing the prompt. For example, if I want a Pixar style image, I can say, please create the next shot with a Pixar style. I'll show you how to do this. See the user ratings for my custom chat GPT, which is 4.6 out of 5. This is a very useful tool. And depending on how creative you are and how you work with chat GPT, your results will be amazing. I hope you enjoyed this small bonus trick. Visit my YouTube channel, Patreon, and Facebook group to learn more and get help with your work.